St. Mary's is having a prom and it is so cool. And Nicole Hoskins Jones, Director of Recreational Therapy at St. Mary's, is one of the reasons they're doing it, right? Yep, we started doing prom 10 years ago. And Jennifer Farmer, Recreational Lead Support Technician at St. Mary's Home. Okay, let's talk very candidly about what does it take to pull off a prom at St. Mary's Home for the Disabled Children? It takes a village. Um, it takes a lot of different work and a lot of different people from different departments and this year um, doing it outside of St. Mary's it's taken a lot of people from the community coming in to help us with it. Yeah because I, I my, my kids are now in their 30s and I remember prom night. It's a big night in anybody's life so yeah. we look forward to it every year. The parents look forward to it. The staff at the home also look forward to it. Okay now in the past the prom was a home prom. Yes. You're taking it to the Marriott. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to do something really big since this was the big 10 years. Um, so we um, reached out and the Norfolk Waterside Marriott is being so generous and donating a ballroom and a room to get ready and also food for the event. So we're really excited about that. But Jennifer, for the ones that may not know about St. Mary's, let's talk about the men and women that live there. What, what are we actually dealing with in getting kids ready? Um, well, it, like Nicole said, it takes a, a village. We have family members that come in and help get the kids ready. Um, when we take the girls dress shopping, we take in consideration, you know, the style of dresses and things like that so everyone's comfortable. Um, and moms are happy. Yes. And, and dads. dads. Yeah, I was gonna... <laughs> and dads, yes. And dads. So we take everything into consideration to try to make sure they're comfortable, um, but they're still stylish and they get to pick out their stuff for the evening, so... Okay, now dress shopping. Yes. Oh, take me there. Well, this year we went to um, the Rand and Breeze Boutique. So we drove the girls on a field trip and we took them shopping. Um, sometimes the parents come with us or siblings and they get to pick out their dresses, uh, try them on in the boutique shop, um, and it's a good time. Now, do the guys get tuxes and the cummerbunds and the bow ties? The nine, and the shiny shoes and everything. Really? Yeah, Men's Warehouse, um, for the past couple of years, they actually come out to the home and we have a afternoon where they get measured and they get to pick out their tie or bow tie and cummerbund and do it as a group because that's kind of how guys do things together for stuff like this. So. Okay, has what's this done to you guys? Um, do you remember back when? On your prom? Oh yeah, no, it's uh, very exciting. I'm not going to ask any, that. you know, I'm not going <laughs> to delve too deep because proms are kind of private times. Yeah, no, Mine was anyway. <laughs> it's really exciting. Um, every year you get to kind of relive it. Um, so it's really fun to do with the kids and to get to see the excitement in their eyes and the staff and the parents, I think, is something that really resonates with me is seeing how excited they get about it. You know, it's funny because you guys have already mentioned several times the Takes a Village, the, fa the family, the supporters of St. Mary's and the staff and I think that's that says a whole lot about the level of commitment of the support of the, the kids of St. Mary's. I'm going to put you on the spot because just before we started taping you shared with me you're going to bring a special guest to this prom. <laughs> yes, um, I will be bringing my newborn. <laughs> 11, days old, 11 days old by plan? Uh, <laughs> he'll be coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, his that's first prom. Volumes. His first prom. Yes, we'll be at 11 days old. And for many of these kids, this is their first prom, right? Um, yes. So that's so cool. Now, you mentioned the Marriott. Uh, how did that come about? It just kind of connections through um, some connections that Sonya, our marketing communications director, has um, through the Norfolk. Um, and they were visit very, Norfolk. And they were very gracious, right? So gracious. We just were floored when they said that they would donate an entire ballroom with uh, food and rooms to get ready for the kids. So we're really excited about that. We think this is definitely going to bring something else. It's going to bring something special to prom yeah. that we haven't had before. Well, I wanted to have you guys on to just say thank you for the level of commitment you've given these very special kids who have in many times have been in the home for a very long time of, of providing a glimpse of what their lives are like. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also bring attention to our viewers of the special environment that goes on St. Mary's. And, the, and thank you for the support that the entire community gives St. Mary's. If somebody wants to help with this or kind of uh, has some ideas, then give, that, give St. Mary's a holler. I know they'd love to hear from you. So thank you. Thank you. And have fun. We will. Yes. Make sure you tell your mom everything that happened. <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, when we come back, we got the power lifter coming. I'll explain it later.